Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick little video of me installing this TAV30 torque converter on my mini bike. Similar to how I have it set up on my little brothers here. Alright, so the hardware I'm using from Lowe's today. Let's see. We have four. See five sixteenths with an eighteen thread pattern, two and a half inch. Four of those. Getting four nuts to go with it. Five sixteenths, eighteen pitch thread. A bunch of five sixteenths washers and a one inch long. I guess yeah, one inch long five sixteenths little spacer and that's five eighths in diameter on the outside we're going to use that on the back of the engine to lift it up off of the frame just like I did here I did that with just regular washers and I didn't like the way that looked so I went ahead and got some of these for my bike let's take this max torque clutch off Now the problem with this setup is that this thing wants to hit the frame and it just doesn't fit very good. It's kind of bulky. Alright, so let's get this engine off. Alright, so I got the engine off. You can see where I drilled the holes previously. Because you have to drill new holes when you put these 6.5 Predators on there. So I'm going to put this on so we know exactly where we have to make the new holes. Just put the last bolt on. Put this engine back in here. It's a very, very tight fit. This engine is so tight with this torque converter on here. muffler is touching the frame so I think I'm gonna take that little muffler shroud off and then probably wrap that bare muffler with exhaust strap later similar to how I did that one so let's take that off okay so I got this uh, muffler shroud off I did have to take the intake and and take off right there where the carb is. It's interesting because on my little brothers, I did not have to uh, do anything with the exhaust, and there's about five sixteenths of an inch on the top clearance. So that's odd. Okay, so I think I have the chain aligned. Probably as good as it's going to get. So what I'm going to do now is spray paint the holes on the engine to where it will show up on the frame. And I'll know exactly where I have to drill those holes using, using uh, zombie green paint. It's kind of ugly, but show up better than anything else. Spray paint around. Yeah, that'll work. I'll do that. Just kind of paint around the screw like so. Hopefully you guys can see that, yeah. 
So I just set a, a loose screw down through the engine. So now just punching some holes in the where the spray paint went. I already got a hole in that. Start it off right there. And you use good drill bits, guys. I'm using Milwaukee bits here. And this one's a, a hog bit, I think. I can't remember. But it was about 30 bucks on Amazon.com. I'm going to make the hole a little bit bigger than 5 sixteenths. Just so I have some wiggle room to work with. Alright, so we got on three of the four bolts. They're not tightened down yet. So washer and space. This part's kind of tricky. Another spacer. I mean, uh, not spacer, but washer. And then the lock nut. It seems to be just about perfect. I might have to cut some of the plastic on the torque converter plastic cover. But it, as you can see, there's, gosh, probably one sixteenth space right there in between the the mounting plate and the torque converter aluminum plate. I don't know if you can see but this part right here is considerably deeper than than that surface right there which means that belt is probably going to wear a little bit prematurely which I don't like. So I think I'm going to take this shaft off and take off Take out that little washer right there. The chain might hit this aluminum, but it's not that big of a deal. It should buy me about an eighth inch. All right, I greased everything up. So I'm gonna put this thing on just like that. Put the washer on, secure it. Now we'll put this part on. Greased everything there. Just like that. Alright. Now there's a right way and a wrong way to put this belt on. I don't know if you can see. But there's a side where the belt's cut at more of an angle. That's so that it can ride on the angled surface of the... Uh, port converter so you have to make sure you match up those angles oh can't forget the little brass bearing right there side out. And 
And I'm kind of bumming because I think the 5 16 with the 24 pitch thread screw that I got is too short. I'll probably go to Lowe's tomorrow and get a longer screw. So 5 16 with a 24 thread pitch, 2 inches long. That's the size you're going to need. Now I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to cut the chain. I either need to get a half link. Yeah, that's just not in the right spot. Or I just switch that roller out, the idler roller, for a different size one. Alright, so I got that other roller on there. And for this setup, it seems to me that having the chain on the bottom works a little bit better because you have more of an extreme adjustment if you really need it. And like if you move that all the way forward, see how much of an angle that chain is? If you have the chain on top, moving this thing back and forth isn't going to make much of a difference. So that was my reasoning behind that. And it looks like it worked out perfectly adding that smaller diameter pulley, the, uh, the chain roller. So now that fits perfectly right there. So I'm going to cut that chain now. This little chain breaker tool on eBay a few years back, I think it was like eight dollars or something, but it works fantastic. And you always want the open end of the clip facing towards the back so that if uh, you're hitting any bushes or shrubs or whatever it doesn't pluck that little clip off all right I got everything on everything's tight good the chains on there is one problem though I think I needed to add one more washer in between the engine and the mounting plate on the mini bike itself because after I tighten down the engine you can see that the plate of the torque converter is touching the engine mounting plate on the mini bike I don't think it's by much because before I tightened it down it had like 1 16th of an inch but that's no big deal I'm just gonna have to cut a small hole right there and then I'm gonna mark the hole for the chain to come out on here now Last bolt, hopefully. All right. so far. We'll have to ride it tomorrow. <laughs> well thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the torque converter versus centrifugal clutch video. We're gonna test speed 
and also climbing capabilities and I get a feeling I'm gonna win so please like this video guys subscribe if you want and y'all take care